Hey guys, this is the Argent Defender, and today on Pandaria Talk, we are going to talk about the opposite of last week's video. We're going to talk about PvP. So, today it's just going to be the possible new battlegrounds and arena map. So, first off, the one that they showed off first at BlizzCon was the Stranglethorn Diamond Mines. So this one is of course located in Stranglethorn Vale and it's a payload style gameplay. So basically your team has to split up and escort carts to the depot so that their team can get points for every cart they uh, bring to a offload point. So one of the mechanics that they're looking at implementing with this is a switchable track mechanic. So if you're on the opposite team and you don't want them to get their cart to a specific depot, you can flip a switch and it will go the opposite way to where the uh, other group wants it to go. So looking down at this map as you can see there are four depots one that goes through a cave like area one that goes through boulders and two that actually look like they go over bridges now from the concept art which is here if you look close enough you can see that there is a second walkway which would be for the players and the track for the carts so my guess is that these very thin looking bridges will be where some players will end up battling for control of the cart so anyway that there is the diamond mine. The next one is Valley of Power, which is the first Mr. Pandaria battleground actually located on Pandaria, and it's within the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. There isn't really any sort of concept art for this one, though it is based loosely around Murder Ball, so you grab the orb in the very center of the map which is here and you earn points depending on how close to the center you sit there are actually multiple point zones and uh, the further out you get the less points you get but also I think the further out you get the more damage you get uh, given to you just by the orb which uh could be seen as being rather unfortunate, especially if you don't have healers in the group. The next one that they brought up was Ashara Crater, which they say would be more like a Dota style of gameplay. Now there isn't actually a map on this, there isn't really any uh, details other than it's going to be somewhat like Dota, but yeah, well, there's not really any information about it, so I can't really uh, talk about it. And then after that, we have the new arena map that they've talked about, which is the Tolvir Proving Grounds. Now, this one is based in Oldham, and I like the idea that they are placing new arenas in old locations, or at least older locations. And it's a very, very simple arena map. It's essentially um, Nagrand Arena. The Nagrand Arena. Um, except with Tolvir influences. Instead of uh, pillars, they are statues. Tolvir statues, the bosses from Halls of Origination. Nothing really special about it, but it's just a new look which I like. So, otherwise, that is about it. There are a few changes that they mentioned, like they 
like the way that resilience is playing out and how much of a barrier it is for people who have PvP gear and all that sort of stuff, but otherwise. Oh, looks like they're going to be making it into a base stat, which. Yeah, that's alright, I suppose. Gives people a chance to, uh. gain it over time rather than having to stack it in, uh. on armor. Oh, well, now I'm rambling. It's rather early, and I just found out that MMO Champion will soon be releasing a heap of Mr. Pandaria information, which will be in about six and a half hours. It's all the new stuff from their uh, press meeting last week, so excited about that. Anyway, guys, that's it for all. I'll see you next time.